All right. So I'm going to tell you something kind of fun. I, I can't mention the name in a public setting because of confidentiality things, but I'm going to, this will be a fun uh, example for you. And I'm going to ask you, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Okay. Ready for this. So I was working with a fortune 50 company as their previous company is working with. I don't work with a side company today. And this is a cascade strategy. It was very important that we got in this system implementation. And so I asked them and they were very happy with the system. They were tracking their top 13 to 15 goals, excuse me. And then they said in this, they said, one of the people was upset. And the group, I said, why are you upset? He said, because I have 600, 600 projects I'm tracking. And I was like, whoa, I never met anybody you know, before or since I had managed 600 projects simultaneously. And so... I said, so how, how many project managers do you have to manage 600 projects? So now I want to ask you, and if you're in the audience, you could go on and think on your head, how many project managers does it take should you have to manage 600 projects? So what do you think the typical entrepreneur would say? A few projects per project manager. I mean, it depends on the size of a project, right? If it's a big project, again, so it depends on how sophisticated it could be that, I don't know, one, two projects per project manager. So, Yeah, it depends, I think, on the size of the project and complexity, how many people it, it involved. It does, yeah. It does, yeah. And we'll hear anywhere from, you know, a lot of people will say 10, you know, project managers will say 20, sometimes people will say 50, but rarely people will say 300, and almost nobody says 600. But the reality is they had 600 project managers. Oh, so one per project. So that's they right. narrow down focus. You own it, you basically, okay, so that makes sense. So otherwise he would not be able to stay sane. 600 projects at once. That's right. Wow. And so uh, there's a great book behind me for those who are watching on, on live. It's called The Four Disciplines of Execution. Yeah, that's a good one. They've done way more implementation. Yeah, it's a wonderful book if you haven't read it. They did, they said you should focus on three strategic projects at a time. And they said this after doing 1,500 strategic implementations. Well, they did a, a tiny change. And we just had Jim Hewling on uh, our podcast recently, who's one of the authors of this. After 5,000 implementations, they said they should only focus on one thing at a time. Wow. And why? Now, once again, it's not just one, it's one big initiative, right? So it doesn't mean there isn't sub projects and some actions, but when you're doing one big thing at a time, it impacts everyone. And so they wanted to make sure that all the different, and what they found was when they focused on one thing at a time, they had wild success. When they did three things, they would have some success. When they did four or more, they'd almost always fail. Is it and because so, they're spreading themselves too thin at that point? Three that's project? right. Okay, so you got a right. laser focus on one thing, all in, most important thing. That's where we all dwell on. That's right. And so this is the biggest reason why strategic plans fail, is not due to lack of vision. Most organizations have vision. Most people have aspiring goals. Most people put together a plan. Maybe not a good one, but they have a plan. But very few people trim it down to the most essential things that are going to have the biggest impact on the outcome. So one of the ways that you help do that discernment is you look at what's the potential impact of the, all the projects you have that you've listed, and then two, the percentage likelihood of success. And so you should put your energy and effort on the highest probable with the greatest impact. And that's what should be the ones you're going to focus on most. And what we recommend when we're working with teams and if they have multiple people in their company and multiple leaders that are managing. We try to say, hey, look, you can say you're going to have 20, but at this one time, we're only going to do things where one person, project manager or executive is managing one thing at a time. We try to not have them doing two things at once because once again, it most likely is going to fail. Get that one thing done. Now, this is the surprise is that company got done way more than 600 projects a year because as soon as they got done with them, they put that project manager on another project and they kept on getting more and more done because they were focused on the very few, the very essential. That's the dichot that's the unexpected twist, is they get way more done than 600 versus those who would have 600 projects, have 100 project managers, and then maybe get done 200 projects a year. You're going against your gut feeling, right? So I see how also a lot of entrepreneurs would reject this idea. Like all of these important, yes. all of these need to happen now. No, we can just have focus on one. So you gotta be that strong to convince them and influence them to focus on one, they will accomplish actually more. Like you said, they accomplish more than 600 projects because as soon as one done, they're going for the next one. Wow, that's a wow. Yeah, it is a wow. 